Good day, SUNY Brockport students. Welcome to the news you can trust at Talon TV. You may have noticed recently that our COVID-19 alert level has reached yellow. That means that in terms of campus-wide activities, they will be further and strongly more regulated. What you can do to help stop the spread, or at least slow it, is by turning on your COVID-19 phone recommendations and notifications in your phone settings. What these do is that it will notify you whenever you become possibly into contact with COVID-19. We recommend you turn these on as it might be wise to do so and help stop the spread of COVID-19 in and around campus. In other statewide news, Governor Andrew Cuomo has received calls for his resignation following multiple claims of sexual harassment. At this time, the claims are being investigated regarding their validity. I suppose we will see the result of these this, this dispute very soon and whether Governor Cuomo's position will be thrown into question. This has been your Weekly News Minute. I'm Paul Schmidt with Talent TV, signing off. Last week, SUNY Brockport elevated its COVID-19 alert level after an uptick in cases within the Brockport community. The move came after 43 students tested positive for the virus. 24 of those cases were confirmed and on-campus students. Students in two dorms, Benedict and Dobson, were quarantined as a precaution as many of the positive cases came from the students who live in those buildings. Students were only quarantined there until their individual pool test results came back negative. All students who have on-campus classes and activities are tested weekly. Raising the alert level from blue to yellow enacted new rules on campus in order to prevent any further spread of the virus. Harrison Dining Hall was temporarily closed and staff had to work quickly to get food to the quarantined students. Even though 43 cases is the highest number the college has seen so far, it's important to note that 43 positive cases makes up only 2.28% of all students, staff, and faculty. State guidance says that the 14-day positivity rate would have to be 5% in order for classes to go fully remote. I'm Tyler West and this is Talent TV. SUNY Brockport is facing a $10 million budget gap this semester. This is due to low enrollment and the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Some students didn't return or enroll due to their financial situations, while others are simply taking a gap year in hopes the fall will bring back some normalcy. SUNY Brockport President Heidi McPherson sent out an email on February 8th addressing this issue. In her statement, she said, the loss of 100 students means a loss of $1 million to our campus, which is why both recruitment and retention remains a strong part of all of our plans for physical health. And we each have a part to play in supporting student success, said McPherson. The college plans to oversee every part of the budget and reduce expenses whenever possible. The main focus right now is to retain students and increase enrollment for the fall semester. This has been Kenneth Sauer with Talent TV.